What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Man, that was some beautiful snow we had in Texas. We haven't had snow like that in so long, guys. And when it snowed like that, I mean, sure, it only lasted for like two days, but it was amazing. It was cold, but not like too freezing cold. I think it only got down to like 30 maybe, so not too bad. But man, the, sun, the snow was just amazing. Everybody was out there making snowmen. Me and my girlfriend went out there and had a snowball fight. Just had a really good time in the snow. And then uh, everyone in my apartment complex went downstairs and all pitched in on making this huge snowman. Someone put a scarf on it. Someone made eyes and a mouth out of Ritz crackers, which was really funny. But, you know, we did what we did. It was just a, just a really good time. Beautiful snow. And now it's, you know, 60, 65 degrees outside. Snow is all gone, so gone but anyway guys what we are talking about today is what I use to film my videos for you guys what I take out when I'm fishing uh, what I use what my drone stuff like that and today we're gonna go over all that so guys let's jump into it one more thing before we start guys if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe to the dark Girl action channel make sure to give me the big thumbs up hit that notification bell so that way as soon as my video comes out y'all are the first ones to see it it's free guys. I don't know why you haven't done it yet. This channel is gonna blow up here in 2021. I have so many plans for y'all. It's gonna be ridiculous. But anyway guys, back to the video. I really hope y'all enjoy it. Okay, so first things first is of course my camera. I know I'm using it right now and y'all can't see it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my phone out and I'm gonna video right here for y'all so y'all kinda see what it is. Okay, see, this is my camera. This is the Canon M50, see, you can see y'all. And right here is my Rode Video Mic Pro. Uh, microphone that my girlfriend got me and I absolutely love this microphone. It is amazing it, when you remember to turn it on. I used to have a microphone that I never had to like turn on. It's just you plugged it in and it worked. So, uh, you know, that's different. But yes, this is my Canon M50. I researched for months to get the right camera to use for YouTube. This one was a really good price, really good autofocus, had the flip out screen so I could see myself and make sure everything looked good like in the frame. So I just love this camera and I have used it for I've had it I think almost a year now and it's just an amazing amazing camera really good detail it shoots 4k you know in 4k the autofocus on my face isn't amazing but if you're doing like b-roll anything like that amazing 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 4k video all right now back to the big camera but yeah love my Canon M50 I love my Rode video microphone now both of these are a little expensive I think right now the Canon M50 is around $500 but I think for everything this camera offers, it is an absolute steal. Like I said, you got 4K, you got 60 frames a second in 1080p. And I think it goes up to 120 frames per second in 720. So if you want to try to get those really slow motion videos, you can with 720, so it's not too bad. And what thing, uh, what a cool thing is in this camera, sorry, my nose is running, <laughs> is that it has autofocus on your face. So wherever I move right now, it is autofocusing on my face and it will follow that until I get too far away from the camera and then it just loses me in the frame, but I'll still be there, which is really, really cool, and that's what I really like to use, especially when I'm sitting down doing talking videos like this to you guys. Okay, now the next thing that I use is this right here. This is my GoPro. This is the GoPro Hero 5 Black. I've had this for about two years now, and when I got it, I think it was like $250, $300, and this has just been an absolute power horse of a GoPro. Now another thing I use with this because GoPro batteries really don't last that long and I, this is a trick that I learned from one of my friends is that if you get a power bank like this, and this power bank uh, holds four charges, see the lights? Four charges, four full charges on a phone. Now if you hook it up to a GoPro, it will literally last you all day. I think I've tested it and I've gone all the way up to like six hours of constant filming on this. So depending on the size of the micro SD card you have in this GoPro, and hooked it up to this while you're filming out there fishing, it will last you all day long. And I absolutely love it. Now this GoPro, really good, doesn't shoot 4K. I think it goes up to 2.7K, which is really good, but I'll use a 1080. 1080 is the only thing I use for my GoPro, and I get really good uh, video quality. Now the one thing I would buy with this that I have not got yet, and I really can't tell you why I haven't got it yet, is a external microphone, a little lav mic to clip on your shirt right here so that way when you talk, 
it gets better audio and when it's windy outside this thing picks up so much wind that is the only downside of this GoPro other than that the video quality is good the color is good it's just an amazing amazing GoPro I will probably upgrade to the 9 probably I don't know I don't want to lie and say this year but if something happens to this I definitely will um, but I really like this GoPro I would definitely buy it again if I had the option to or get it for free either way but I love it and another thing I use with this GoPro is my chesty mount this right here my little, my little chest mount thing and I just put this on my chest plug my GoPro in plug my external battery in and bam go and you're set that is all you really need right there so if you don't want to go out and you don't have the money to actually go out and buy all this fancy camera stuff which you do not have to if you want to be a YouTube fisherman and film you you do not need a camera you don't need a fancy microphone you don't need a drone really you could do it all on your phone and on a GoPro that's all you need that's really all you need if you want to go out and get all the nice stuff just to make your video quality better do it the only reason I have all this stuff is because I do more video and photography work than just YouTube it's like an extra little hobby of mine and I love trying to better myself and get better at it that's why I have all this extra stuff so don't think that you need to go out and buy all this fancy stuff to be a really good YouTuber because you don't there are plenty of YouTubers out there that all they use is their phone and a GoPro like I'm pretty sure uh, Pig Patrol TV uh, he's just his phone and a GoPro. That is it. Uh, Richard Jean uses just a GoPro. Awesome, awesome guy. Really good crappie fisherman. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. This is all you need right here. A GoPro. You can use your phone. Any phone works, especially if you have an, uh, an iPhone or a really good Galaxy. Really good image quality. Really good audio. It's just great. Now, this is the newest thing that I got. <laughs> and I don't know. Looking back now, I mean, I just got it yesterday, but... It might have been a little impulsive a buy because what I did do all my drone videos on was the DJI Spark, which I got for free for doing that little uh, Lake Pickwick uh, bass fishing tournament for the ladies of the LBAA. I got that drone for free and I upgraded it and this is what I got right here. I know it's in the case, but it came with the case, but I just I just love the case because it makes carrying it around so easy. But let me go ahead and open it up for you guys. It is this guy right here. <sighs> I still get goosebumps every time I bust it out. It is this right here. This is the DJI Mini 2. Shoots 4K, uh, 30 frames per second in 4K. and 1080, it goes all the way to 60 frames a second. Amazing, amazing drone. I've been playing with it all day outside. And this guy has, like, it's really windy today. I think right now the wind's blowing like 25 miles an hour. This thing has amazing wind resistance. It shoots 4K video. It can go, like, super, super high. You get amazing panorama. You have so many functions on it as well. Let me show you all the, uh, the controller. Look how big the controller is. It is huge compared to the drone. It is bigger than the drone, but it is awesome because if you have big hands, like I have, you know, I wouldn't say huge hands, but, you know, relatively big, it just, it fits perfectly. It does. And you have this really cool thing right here. So no matter how big your phone is or how big the case is, if you got an OtterBox, like a big bulky OtterBox, it comes all the way up like that and you plug it in. It comes with a uh, Android adapter, iPhone adapter, and some other type of adapter. I'm not sure what that one is, but really, really good. Awesome drone. Uh, I think I paid 600 for the fly more pack and it comes with the awesome drone uh, this really cool uh, It's like a strap that holds your propellers in see right here this strap and it goes all the way around It holds the top ones and it just keeps it all in place and it comes with a cover for your screen that way when you're carrying around in your case it, You don't scratch up your screen, which is perfect. It's just Oh, it's an awesome drone. I've only been playing with it for a day, but me and my girlfriend are about to go to San Antonio to see our family, and I'm going to be flying this around there, trying to get some really cool city shots and see how it does at night. So I might make that a video for y'all as well, but I uh, just can't wait. It's an awesome drone. If um, if you're into doing like drone flying or drone photography or doing drone videos, I would say definitely get this one because for the price, it does it all. <laughs> amazing flying, amazing wind resistance. It has cinema mode, sports mode, and then normal mode. So you can go fast, go slow, get those real nice smooth cinematic shots. It's, it's just awesome. Another thing that I really like is the toggle switches. You can take them off and guess what? They're right there. <laughs> How cool is that? Perfect for storing. It is just such a freaking cool drone and I love it. Uh, like I said, it was kind of an impulse buy, but I've been saving up money for it, and I knew I wanted to get it. I was, it was a hard decision. I think I was either going to get this or a kayak, and 
I don't know, I really wanted the kayak that way I could go out on the lake, the water, go up rivers and stuff like that and do a lot of fishing. And I think that would have been a really good idea. But you know what? We'll just get that later on down the road. It's okay for now. But one thing I really want to focus on this year in 2021 is making better videos, better quality. I want to, I want y'all to feel like you're right there with me when I'm out there fishing and doing my videos or doing my cooking and stuff like that. So that's why I went ahead and I invested the money in this awesome drone because I think this is really going to help me take it to the next level as far as... Uh, you know image quality video quality and all that so that's why i went out and got this and it was an awesome buy i i regret it maybe a little bit because it always hurts giving up 600 dollars no matter what it's for but definitely definitely worth it uh what else um i think that's it guys that is everything i use my canon 50 the road video mic I use the DJI Maverick Mini 2 drone now. Uh, whenever like I'm in a low light situation, like I said, the Canon 50 does not do the best job in low light, but if you're in the sun or anything like that, get an ND filter put on there, bam, perfect, perfect. But in my low light situations, if I'm out fishing and it's getting dark, I'll switch to my phone and my GoPro. Perfect lighting in the dark time, amazing. And that is it guys, I just wanted to show you a little behind the scenes video of what I use on my filming for my videos and stuff like that. So thank y'all so much for tuning in today. Thank you for taking out time out of your day to watch my videos, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all my subscribers. Thank y'all, y'all are the real ones out there. I love y'all and I'll catch y'all in the next video guys. Y'all keep it real and I'll see y'all next time. Peace guys.